Wait, so we got an hour and six into this podcast? Mm-hmm. How long is it usually just an hour? Guys, I work with the greatest comedians around. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, motherfuckers. Welcome to Dota Badine, the Sunday morning smoke show. This is the round table of fuckery. I'm your host, Dylan J. Negri. To the left of me is your other co-host, Kevin Sanchez. Yo, what up, baby boy? It's been a week. We're missing, uh, uh, this is back-to-back weeks where we're missing one person. Yeah, yeah, but thank God, right? That was a drop. Pretended that, 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 yeah, that was a yeah. new drop. That was Yo's. a new um, Snoop drop. <laughs> that was a Snoop drop. I saw the anger in your eyes right there, bro. Of what that? Now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Care. What's wrong? What's up with you, buddy? You came over here a little. Uh, what do you mean, a little hot? A little, a little, a little on edge. You a little on edge? No, just, we got because we got some heavy topics to discuss today. I, uh, I, I can't, I can't. Uh, so I'll put everyone through my point of view. I uh, came in the recording gas games. I'm on a uh, apparently a, a one month hi- hiatus from gas games. Yeah, and uh, it, it's just. It's getting to a point where you know, like we talked earlier. You, know, you not uh, you 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 want you wounded me up earlier because we got we had topics today. We were go, we always go over the show before the show before we introduce our guests. Yeah. Actually, before we let's get into it, I want I, I want to start off right. right I want to introduce our guest right so we can get the fuck off. Okay, let's go. Introduce our guest, Nick Cara. <laughs> Nick Cara. Hey. Nick Cara, baby. Oh, you know, if, if, if you if you're in Jersey comedy, New York comedy, you know Nick Cara. He's one of my best fucking friends. Staten Island crew too. Oh, also, yeah. also fellow Price. Miami Heat head. Thank you. Go We're heat. doing great. Do you guys are doing great? Are you, do you does the do Miami we text heat, about the Miami Heat? Yes. Yes. Well, does the Miami Heat have like a like, like the a heat? roll call? Yeah. Whoop, whoop. No, no. You guys whoop. have names like for your fans. <laughs> uh, Heatles. Heatles. Uh, yeah, I thought that I was guess. the band. I thought that was Dwayne Wade, uh, Bosch, and. Uh, Sure, and that, 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 yeah. is, that is what they were. But you know, yes. oh. Heat Nation. Is heat Nation. The, yeah, heat, you're right. Nation. heat Nation. Heat Nation. Y'all, listen. Y'all might have a chance. Y'all actually might, might have, have a, chance. a chance. I don't know. You're number one the whole year for some reason, no? Well, well. <laughs> the East is people. Di- di- people disres- no, people always want to disrespect that first place title. Are you guys first place? Yeah. Are you guys first place? I thought it was. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm not All keeping right. up with basketball like that. Just, just in the playoffs. Yo, just what? Just the playoffs? Just the playoffs. I don't Damn. care anymore. 82 games is too much. So what? There's, there's, you don't I, watch I every tuning, game. I start tuning in. I'll, I'll do, I do uh, the YouTube wrap-up Y'all, shorts. 10 minutes. For uh, half the season. Mm-hmm. And then after All Star break, I go back. I go to a recorded games. Mm-hmm. I skip through, watch the entire game. No commercials, no free throws. That's pretty good. And then playoffs, I go uh, zero dark thirty. I don't want to know the score before I go out. Oh, I, really? I need to be able to get home, watch the game, experience it, well, see the score. I'm at shows. I'm checking it. the score. Nope. People are talking to me. I'm like, shut the fuck up. Nope. I'm not. Uh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going through any of that. I don't. I want to get home and watch it. The only. Damn. The only thing I'm, I, I can see right now. I, I can't believe this phone. just became. That's a, old school, by the way. Yeah, that is old school. That's like TiVoing the game. Yeah. Remember that Seinfeld? Well, that's what I do. It's like remember it's that YouTube Seinfeld, TV TiVo. <laughs> remember that yeah. Seinfeld episode where he goes, uh, I'm just wait, wait. He records the Met, the Yankees game. Almost said the Mets game. Wait, whoa, was it the Mets? One of those he was New York Yankee baseball. Fans. Was a Yankee fan? Is not Seinfeld sure. a Yankee fan? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure he picked the Yankees over the Mets. And that no, game. I'm sure. I'm pretty sure Seinfeld is a Mets fan. Well, he recorded um. the he recorded the Mets game, and uh, and then he, he got away from the score. Did you know? Mm-hmm. He evaded the score. Yes, I remember. That is a Seinfeld episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. And then right at the last moment, it's and always, then my man goes, mm-hmm. "Hey, yo, you saw how the Mets lost?" And it's like, "Oh, you piece <laughs> of shit." It's it's funny because uh, you know Jay has a bunch of those stories where he's like he he'll just go through all night trying to dodge it, and at the last moment, right when you're about to get into the car, someone will go, "Dude." Sixers, man, that's rough. And you're like, shut up, shut right. up, uh, shut up. I'm sure he loses his mind over the Eagles, right? I'll, I'll tell you this much: is there's pe- if you've ever done that to Jay and you're listening to this, which you're probably not, just let you know. If you ever done that to Jay, he uh, remembers. Yeah. I, he said certain names like four times, where it's like this person, <laughs> this person's done it. You know, we really love to do it. That person. Damn. Um, I'll say a name. Schultz. Schultz. Schultz does it. You're a bad friend. He seems like a guy that he would do that just to fuck with you. Yeah. I think, that, and I think he looks up scores from like 1985 <laughs> just to get it in on you. Right. I think Schultz like um, I think Schultz by like the eighth time starts going like, oh, am I being a dick? Yeah, like, yeah, buddy. I think. But by the way, <laughs> hold on. I think the box. If Middleton comes back, you're in trouble. They gotta get past Boston no, first. They, and they Boston get, looks like they oh, can. Right. Their defense matches up with ours. I'm not worried. For some reason, I'm not worried about Boston when it comes to you guys. No. But for some reason, I think the because I think Giannis is just a little worried. I should, I should take Giannis over the Boston. 
Yeah, but, I agree, because we've already beaten Giannis before. Well, because okay, you, are you right. a bubble the guy? Before. He's the a bubble. Before. He's a bubble. Dude. I am a, I'm a Laker fan. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah. So he's an. And he owes me a jersey, fan. by the way. Let That's me ask you a question. If you put a, if you make a bet with someone, right? All right. And the bet was, if your team wins, I buy you a LeBron James Laker jersey, official LeBron James. And Laker you gotta jersey. wear it. No. Just for me. You just gotta. Own, oh, okay. Just he wants. He actually wants the jersey. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought we were just like joshing each Bullshit! other. Bullshit. We you know, <laughs> I, I thought we were razzing. <laughs> no, we were. No, we were razzing. I was like, you know, Kevin, you, we both wouldn't look good in the jersey. We were, no, you got to double we down. Look like if we combined our weights, we'd be the correct weight for a jersey. Hey, don't disrespect me. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But uh, this is why black and white comedians hate you both equally. Damn. Damn. That's the only thing I want. I just want to. I just like. I just want. I'm the master of segways, baby. Because. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, we never even got through our first uh, topic, which, which was uh, was um. So I came in. Oh and, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened? So I came in, and uh, no, nah, it's uh, it, 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 I, I get it. I get it. I love everyone. I'm the asshole. I get it. I love everyone. I want to be. I want everyone to have a good time. I want to put people on at shows they've never done. Mm-hmm. Guys. Go ahead, buddy. Take off the jacket. Look at him. This is aggressive. Guys, I'm the asshole. Uh-huh. I pay extra yeah, money I to see the, the pe- shirt. I pay extra money. That was funny. I pay extra money for the people that help us out. I I I do, I, I do I, too. I, 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 I put people on shows they ain't never done or have done, and they kill. Still talk shit about me. Mm. I come into places like this. I'm on a one month hiatus. Why? Why? Because I'm an asshole, apparently, Nick. Well, I, I, I'm an asshole. Nick, 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 I invite people on this podcast, and they, and they get they, they, go, they go to their own shows, and people go, oh, man, I saw you on Doped Up. Nick, I'm the asshole. Well, what would you do I'm to the be asshole. an asshole? I'm the asshole. Kevin, I'm the asshole. I get it. Mm. I get the joke. It's funny. Guys, you're a funny <laughs> group. You guys are funny people. I'm the asshole. I get No, 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 I get Let, it. Let's dissect came, it, Came, came here. So, why, why four years in you? comedy. Mm-hmm. Doing enough to where he can help his own friends. Nick, I'm the asshole. Okay, so now that you know you're the asshole, why are you the asshole? I'm the asshole. Oh, you got to answer the question, right? So, oh, oh, I just I answered like I said. I, I I help people out. I put people on. I uh, I I I choose to move through my life with a, a, a with joy and a boyish like curiosity, mm-hmm. as I like to say. You know what it and is? And I get it. I, there's some I'm moments, the asshole. There's some moments like right there. It's fine. Right there, you were pontificating a little bit, hmm. right? Like your chin True. went too high when you said that thing about having boyish, uh, like curiosity. Shit, I know, like I curiosity. There was a little, <laughs> little pontification going on there. But I, Kev. No, nah, no, nah, I will I say this. It. Now, we because it's crazy to me. Like uh, sometimes I'm, I, I do shows with Dylan. We boys, and people like come up to me and they be like. Uh, whether he did well or he bombed, he'll come up to me and he goes, damn, Dylan. Right? And it... <laughs> so I was looking for my topic, so that wasn't an ad. <laughs> <laughs> my, notes app, my notes app has an ad. I'm sorry. Um, your notes... Why do you have a notes app that... Uh, that that's uh, one story at a time. Okay, so... Okay. <laughs> no, sometimes I, I, I... People like to talk shit about Dylan. Uh-huh. They just love talking shit about him. Yeah. The first, the first couple... Years I knew Dylan, like they do shit like uh, talk about how he acts black, okay, right? Yeah, I mean, jumping up and down and screaming about not being invited to a board game is super black. That, but, uh, <laughs> that's actually the whitest thing I've ever seen him do, to tell you the truth. That is the whitest thing I've ever seen Dylan do. And then, see, while everyone's doing that, I'm sitting over here going, Why well, does it gotta be about race? Why well, does it have to be black and white? Yeah, I, 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 Kevin, we talked about it today, and uh. I, I I've had a, I've had a slow day and I was I was genuinely looking forward to this but yeah. I'm 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 starting to get it where you know I, I've heard people say you know I want I want I want I want to see young comics and people put their nose to the grindstone mm-hmm. put their nose down and work mm-hmm. and I I swear every day of my fucking life I do that and I don't say shit I don't, I, I I genuinely if I say if I say shit it's to him Nick I'm never I'm never like calling you being like man I'm the greatest. Greatest of all time. No, but like if I'm in the car with you, we're driving. I'll be like, yo, Nick, I fuck with you. I'm happy you fuck with me. Let's do great things together. That's sure. like that's my relationship yeah. with people. 
and I'm starting to get it now because I, 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 people love you know little brother me, and I get that. Mm-hmm. You know, we've talked about this before, and I said it to Kev. I go, yo, Kev. One day I was like, yo, everyone little brothers me. He goes, do I little bro- little brother you? And I go, no. He goes, so not so not everyone doesn't. So older like, comics tend to do that just to younger. Not, comics it it, it won't be just older comics. But though, you right? understand, it'll something. be like comics that like either on his level or lower, and like. Mm-hmm. Some some of them I'm gonna say this. Some of them they think that they either are or they think they're funnier than you, right? Okay. So like that's guys. I'm not funny. I never said I was funny. Like well, I I'm, go ahead, Nick. <laughs> go ahead, Nick. Go ahead. Say what you say. Just, nah, I, I mean you this should, is awkward. Nick, by the way, for Nick, you think you're funny? No. Um. Listen, I I, I obviously I think I'm funny, but this is the funny mm-hmm. part is 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 <laughs> the odd part. The odd part. Thank you, Kevin. And Nick, I, and, and as much as this, it, this isn't awkward for Nick because this is real. This is why people watch this show. I feel like if you understand Doped Up and Dying, there's a lot of younger comics, a lot of. Uh, D- this is what got you doped up and dying, son. This is literally. This got, is what got you doped up and dying. These topics got me doped up and dying. I'm, yeah. I'm coming in here heated, Nick, and I'm sorry it's on your episode, but guess what? We'll invite you back. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I you know like what, the though? drama. In light, I'll in lieu of, of this, of this heatness. In lieu of like uh, he's heated, uh, of being heated, let's celebrate something spicy. Let's pour some tequila. It's you ready? Cinco de, it's Cinco de Mayo. Let's get it. Let's, let's get do it. it. The, in, in honor of the holiday, are we allowed to say? Uh, Thank the you brands? for bringing the Passover cups. No, 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 no. We're let's not, not doing that, right? Let's okay. not say brands. I mean, let's, they can see it, though. No, because no, I'm gonna have it over here. No, you can put. You mean you can show the band? I mean, yeah, uh, you know what? Fuck, uh-huh. let's show the Are you Jewish? I was for like a week once. <laughs> <laughs> These are like the cups they give you when you go to like uh, like like uh, any Jesus. Jewish event. He said, "No, I don't need a third that looks cup." Like, that looks like a cup of water, Nick. Try it. Yeah, give me a, give me a shot. You know what? Here, wait. Now let me pour you a shot, bro. This dude doesn't know how to pour shots, bro. <laughs> this dude will pour the shot. Yeah, you don't little brother him at all. <laughs> Not nah, well. Thanks, <laughs> here, here, I'll, I'll do this. Cheers. All right, Nick, you better swing that all. You can... I'll do it. Mm-mm-mm. You should have had the cable over there. He I really dribbled. took all that. Yo, Casa Amigos. Wait, oh, show, the, show the cup. Show we the saw cup. how full it was. Holy shit. That dude really did, did it. I did. Also, thanks for not offering me any. You, oh, Natalie. You Natalie, Natalie, Natalie. in here. Natalie. Natalie. No, 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 no. Natalie's on one month suspension. Suspension. Why? Why? Everyone Do in my life. Me in everyone, in my life is on <laughs> everyone in my life is on one month suspension. <laughs> everyone in my life so, how, except, for Nick, except for Nick Nick how dare Nick is, you everyone in my life is on one month suspension Natalie you didn't throw a joke out there I, I, I'm sure what oh Natalie's got a fat shot there you go everyone's on one month suspension for my love damn son yeah are I'm, you are you telling me right now is this yeah, because yes. of the board suspension? game or is there something else going on in your no, life no 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 this is this is a a, a, a combination of Helping other comics out. So, again, okay. my, my name, I guess, tossed in the ringer. Mm-hmm. That's cute. Real cute. <laughs> 1K on your episode, but that's cute. Uh, never going to get another K on another episode of yours, but okay, that's cute. Okay, I, I see you. Go through the arsenal. Damn. I'll talk shit, bro. I'm sorry, I missed that. What was that? <laughs> oh, I was like, I was like they, they can go through the arsenal, what comedian it was. Oh, oh, okay. Um, we got bitter dills here. Bitter, bro? These are, I, I'm a bitter, this is, I, I usually come Bitter with dill like a, pickles. Bitter dill pickles, bro. Yeah. This is, this is, this is vinegar dill. Yo, so, so, so. Also, I should not say vinegar dill because someone's going to edit the V out of that word. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even that hard to do. Not at all. Matter of fact, you never enunciate. It's just a little timing. Uh, it, it's literally just one misstep and uh, it's there. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's the world we live in. You can't say uh, uh, vinegar. What makes pickles? <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's 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 uh, so, it's salty. Would you hours. confront them? Would you be like, "Yo, why are you talking that shit?" Um, yeah, yes, do you know who's talking shit? Yeah. By the way, uh, the only reason I didn't do that is because uh, that uh, I don't want them to go to like a friend and be like, "Yo, did you tell him I was talking shit?" Because like, also uh, you got to remember, like, I fucking can, like, I, I, like listen. There's a difference between someone like just talking shit to talk shit. Mm-hmm. I get that. I've done that. Everyone talks shit, bro. Everyone just be like, you know, throw a little like, you know, sub disc, whatever. I get yeah. that. It's just weird when it's like, it, it would be like. I feel like they have to be in the room if you're going to do it. Yeah. And, that, and that's where Kevin says something. He goes, yo, buddy, they like, I mean, they also say it to your face, but it's also like, it's a different tone when they say it not, not to your face. Right. And it's also one of those things that it's, I, I like the confidence of people when they're not around me. That's the funny part. 
is I love the confidence of people when they're not around me. Because that mm. seems to be where most of the jokes happen when they're not around me. I respect the jokes when they're right well, in fucking front of me. Can we talk about cool. what we're talking about then? Because, like, you do this show every Sunday, right? It's called Black Ass Comedy Show. Okay. Right? I mean, okay, but yes, I do. Right? I, well, I, you, well, whether, I, whether I'm producing that week, cause I, I, I help produce it. Whether I go up at Black Ass Comedy that week or last week, you know, hosting it for the first time ever. Yeah, right? Black Ass Which Comedy is a big Show. I'm up for you. Right? Like hosting it, Derek and Dave are your, like, was on your hiatus. Mate. They well, wanted to cancel the show, so your boy came in. Came in, and you got people some time. You got me some time. Got you some I time. I opened up. Uh, but you also hosted with somebody else, right? Yeah. And for some reason, every time he does a show, like in that show, it's like, it's. It, it's the hackiest thing I've ever seen in my life where they just keep mentioning that he's white. Every single time. It's like the white boy. The white, and I get it. It's black ass comic show. And he's almost always the only white comic on it. What but, about the crowd? Is the crowd also uh, mostly black? Yeah. Mostly. Yeah. All right, so mostly. Majority. Let's just, yeah. Majority. Mm-hmm. I do a show. And it's like TM. white girls who like with long nails and shit. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Gotcha. Big titties out. Italians. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Italians hate their dads. And it's funny because you said something on our call today. Yo, yo, as much as we're a comedy podcast, we also, you know, drama, talk shit. We have our own world, Nick, and you're a part of that now. Nice. So, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Happy I'm on the drama episode. Yeah. The, the, but that's fun. The universe. <laughs> so, you know, it's always like this. It, and it's like, uh, they did a segment. It was like, ask a white guy. Mm-hmm. Right? And it is kind of funny when I think about it because there's nothing but Latinos or black people in there, right? But the questions they had were corny. But they're audience members. They're going to be corny. Was it like, right? uh, why don't you guys cook with spices and shit like that? Bro, that or like, why do you wear shorts in the winter? Like everything. Because I get hot. <laughs> <laughs> but it was just funny because I don't. So they, they, I wear jeans 24-7. Like I, I that's I, also a white feature though. But it, but that's where it starts getting to a thing where Oni goes, you know, you're a comedian, like you know. Also, you just answer honestly. Just, if you answer honestly, it'll be funny and whatever. So I go, they're asking me like corny ass questions, like literally, why do you guys wear shorts in the winter? And it got to a point where I couldn't answer. They had to bring it. I go, uh, we like, oh, Harrington wears shorts. Like he's wearing shorts right now. Mm-hmm. And he said something and like got laughed. We moved on. But it was one of those things where I'm like, I don't. My father's Israeli. I grew up in like a, a weird household with also like divorce and uh, a European father. Uh, di- not white meals with uh, uh, not flavoring and spices. No, I was eating like tilapia with spicy fucking right. chickpeas and shit. and shit. Yeah, like so it's like okay, I don't resonate with white culture. Cool. So when they're sitting sitting there going, "Hey man, huh, why why don't you guys cook with spices?" I just want to be like, "Yo, why do y'all eat so much fried chicken?" Oh, is that so funny? But like then I get angry because I'm like he's like yo why would you say that like, that's, that's 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 like a funny rebuttal I'm like no because I'm annoyed and I'm, I never answer comedy when I'm annoyed because anytime I do never goes funny. Well, that's 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 what well, you got to calm down. Yeah, you got to calm down when it comes to that because then then you, you're making it unfunny right? for sure. But it, you also don't understand is like it, it starts getting to a point where maybe do something other than fried chicken. Maybe bring up something like another thing to ask them back. No, but regardless, it's well like, he's saying he's saying that like. What he's saying is like they get they they have that this hackness to it, right? And then he's like hack, literally right? hack. It's hack. Stop interrupting me. Yeah, but they're just regular people. Regular <laughs> no, people are yeah. hacks. So, but it's but it's not just regular people. It's also the comedians, comics. right? So oh, like comedians are hacks too. But there's there's like the <laughs> Nick. You're really getting this episode. <laughs> there's there's the black side of the things too that I see. I'm like, why y'all doing that to him, right? And then there's also the white comics too to come through. But like, yo, why are you acting like a wigger? Right? Mm-hmm. Why are you acting black? And it's like he's not acting black, dude. That's what the culture he grew up in. I'm like he grew 24. up twenty-four. I'm was born in nineteen ninety-seven. Do you understand like when you say the word president, George Bush comes to my head because when I was a child, I yeah. did, did eight years. We're the same age, so we relate on a lot of things. Oh, we also both grew oh, up you in also twenty four too? Twenty five. Like oh shit. So yeah. you also grew up in Florida. We also grew up in a time where we looked up to black people our entire life. You're enti- exactly and, bro, so thank you. And also from we, I had, so if you say president, I think George Bush. That's the first president. Sure. Right you, after that? The second I realized that like presidents move on and there's another president and shit, mm-hmm. it's Obama. So you're telling me by the time I'm like 13, 14, I'm already 50-50 on black and white presidents. Right. You're only on your third president right now. Only fourth. on my third? Fourth. Oh, yeah, fourth, fourth. because of uh, one uh, had four terms. Yeah. But if you would have done no, one eight, term. One, one term. term. Sorry. Thank you so much. Four years. But if you would have had two terms... That's yeah. th- I'm three presidents old. Like, 
if that do, if he does one fucking tur- uh, but, but turn, but you're also you're, but the, you can't make excuses like that too. Like you're still an entertainer. No, but, but it's so when it comes, but it's you guys. It's like uh, Nick. What it starts to feel like is um, you start getting asked questions. Why do you look up to black people? Why why don't you look up to other white people? It's like well, I am I am I not supposed to look up to too. black people? Like I, we were talking today, like. I grew up like my, my big three was Will Smith, Jim Carrey, Dwayne Wade. Okay, all of them are out of their minds besides Dwayne Wade. Well, so is, so is this guy. <laughs> this guy is also out of his fucking mind. But it kind of is interesting. Like, if he wasn't out of his mind, he probably wouldn't be right. at working for Gas Digital, right? That like, makes sense. Sure. If he wasn't out of his mind, he wouldn't have. It's true. It's true. If he wasn't out of his mind, he wouldn't have moved from Florida to New York to pursue comedy. So it just like, starts, it, it's, that's why you moved to New York. I literally, I was, uh, I went to college, was a, a year and a half into college. I always knew my whole life of like high school and whatever. I was like, I was just working on my mind, just getting my shit right. And then came to high school, I mean, college, uh, depressed, uh, stopped going to classes and was like, you know what? I need to leave, bought a one way ticket to New York, live on my sister's couch just to do comedy, mm-hmm. fought my fucking way up to this point, And it's just, annoying when you get to a point where you're like you know what when when does someone go hey man like i i think i always felt like i've operated with a lot of love in my heart since day one and it starts to get a little frustrating where you're like all right bro then i'm like it's not that i'm gonna stop loving everyone everyone's on a one month hiatus that's fine that's cool like i i get it i'm the asshole now i get i'm the asshole because i put miles toe on a fucking show that he's never done before and he killed and i'm sitting there glorifying him commenting telling him oh he's doing fucking great Come to find out, he's talking about me, like and like, and he he has uh, he has an episode on here with we gave him a thousand views. Weren't, weren't we not supposed to say his name? I don't give a fuck anymore, bro. Like, if people yeah. want to say my name, Natalie, let them come up to me. Let them sit in that seat and talk to me. Anyone that wants to like come talk to me, please, then do it right here, please. Cause like I, I it, and it's with the whole black and white culture thing, like idolizing Dwayne Wade. You know how many times I've told someone like, yo, I want to be just like Dwayne Wade, though. You know, he's black, right? I'm like, I okay. I, it, Okay, and then you go the the opposite side of the coin where, and I was not to ramble, but like I told you, like I was in D.C. with Derek and Dave Temple, two black guys outside of a club that predominantly is black district. But I'm not even thinking, not realizing. Fucking told you, childlike curiosity, childlike wonder. I'm just enjoying the night of doing shows with two people I really respect. Sitting outside the stoop, Derek Gaines, uh, Dave Temple, Napoleon Emil is there. And a, a black woman walks out, looks at everyone, looks at Derek, goes, mm, you have beautiful hair. And then looks at everyone looking at her and goes, oh, y'all got beautiful hair. And then looks at me, and I'm just kind of sitting there smiling, hi, looking, and she just goes, oh, except for you. She got nasty-ass white hair. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, I tend to wash it three times a week. Uh, yeah, it's not I good for you. You got to stop doing that. No, nah, I wash it more. I wash it every day. No, 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 you shouldn't wash it three times a week. That's bad for you. Less? Yeah, I watch it less. You what? Like, yeah. watch like every three days. Yeah. Are y'all fucking with me? No, I'm no, dead no, serious. I looked that shit up. Yeah, yeah I looked that, that shit up. That's how, that's how people get dandruff. Yeah, you start losing your hair if you wash it every day. Um, I that's wash like, it every day. That's like half the reason why people oh. book you. It's for your hair. So I got to keep. You do have nice hair. Yeah, you got beautiful. It. Definitely, and we know yeah. it's not for the jokes. No. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely know that. Uh, um, no, like but it, it is. And then something that I haven't talked about that I've actually only told. Kevin DC that I don't really like talking about and it, it starts to get to a point where you want you want to talk about this uh nah 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 veto by Kev veto cause can I like <laughs> yeah, cause, nah nah I, I mean can I, yeah I'll what say, number on the list how about is this so can I, I can know can I can I just go I, I'm gonna Kev, give dude. a brief this is this is it's a this will be a wild it's, episode it's we'll about it out. him having a lisp you have a lisp I grew up with classes where I like I like take classes when I was younger uh-huh. to like work on like talking and like uh, mouth movement and so like yeah. certain words like the other day I went to go say like six and acts like uh-huh. those require like genuine trying and thought it's a skillful words it, it, it is just annoying and it's so yeah. I'll get you know closer fucked with my words whether I'm on stage or not mm-hmm. and it tends to be one of those like chinking the arm which people love to go and you're like now can I ask you a question so let me ask you a question bro it's not your fault like fat stupid tongue let me ask you a question bro cause like fat stupid tongue is the name a part of comedy is being is being the butt of a joke from time um, to time, yeah, right? Of course. But like, I feel like Dylan gets it a lot because he's with people who are way ahead of him, 
right? Like Derek. Well, then or I like hate to it. So like you gotta, you gotta take but it. Like from, that's you kind of gotta take it from them. I get that, right? But there are some people who are like they see. I think Derek and they see uh, uh, Dave do. Not really Dave, but like anyone. Just I, let's just say uh, older comics. Whatever. Yeah. Do it, and then they go and they try to do it. Lewis, like, whatever. But, yeah, but like you guys don't have that same like. Bro, 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 they're not even boys. Me. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. it, it's it starts becoming this thing of um. It's less friendly. It's more uh, uh, malicious. Yes. So it's like so I can't say that to him because like we're in a world where it's like you don't want to operate in a world like you don't want to be the comedian that's like you get joked about and then you get smacked up. Mm-hmm. Like you don't want to be that guy. You don't want to be the violent comedian. Every time a joke is made at your expense. Yeah, yeah. Right? Nobody but books you, the guy that punches people. Exactly, right? But you also, it's also Nick, weird to see I'm about people. to start punching people. Nah, nah, you don't, right, even, don't even say spots, that shit. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, damn, I, I lost my train of thought. No, it's like, uh, I, I think what you're also trying to say is like, uh, moving with like anger obviously never works. So when you're the butt of the joke, you just take it with stride. You take it with laughter. And y'all... I do that all day, every day. I, I I know I love a good joke, but what 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 people need to understand is with the people that are closest to me, with those jokes also come like moments that are like there for me, flowers. You know, like I I I like that's the one thing that I think a lot of people start missing in this with me of like, I I I don't know what the fuck I, if I'm doing something wrong. I don't know if I'm too happy, not happy enough, a little bit arrogant, a little bit confident. Sorry, guys, I'm just fucking, I, 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 I don't have to tell you, I'm just me. I kind of hate myself at the end of the day, if I'm going to be honest with you, but also I move with that confidence because I know I've done the fucking work. So when you start looking at the results and you go, well, if I could do that in this amount of time and you know, put myself, if everything if everything I keep putting my mind to keeps kind of going the way I want it to, oh, I guess my mind's a pretty powerful thing. Hey, Dylan, your mind's not a powerful thing. You shouldn't be that confident. Well, I don't... Well, you're always going to get that. You're always going to get people that are... But when, when, when are those yeah, people going to start... I didn't finish talking, though. But, Thank you. Um, you're right. <laughs> you're always going to get that. You're going to get people who are going to go like, hey, hey, slow it down there because you moved up pretty quick, right? Would you say... But when do those people start looking in the mirror and going, yo, I need to work on myself? Because I, I, I've said it before where I go, yo, guys, I'm sick of, I'm sick of, I'm sick of dealing with your jealousy. I'm gonna start saying that. I'm sick of dealing with your jealousy. Why are they big mad? I so don't even care. I'm not even like. I'm not even killing like that yet. I'm not even on stage killing. Right, but you're getting the opportunities, and they're mad that you're getting. Because the I'm so bad, and I'm getting those opportunities. I get it. But yeah, no, you fucking suck. But you're getting the opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. But um, you but you you get no. stuff, and they see you getting stuff. They see the Instagram. They see the likes. They see all of that, and then they go, ah, well, fuck that kid. What, what am I doing wrong that he's doing right? And it's really... But that's a good question to ask, though. It's relationships, yeah, bro. That's true. It's relationships and Maybe you're a bad working. hang. Maybe, maybe nobody fuck with you because, like, you try to crack too many jokes in a minute. Yeah. When joke we're just machine. hanging out. Everybody maybe you're to trying to be a joke an machine an evaluation right uh, point at some point. Like, what I don't do is hang. I'm yeah. not going to go and hang out at every club every night. One, I live in Staten Island. I don't really want to. Yeah. Um, I don't want to take a boat home at like 2 <laughs> o'clock in the morning. When does that shit end? Have you done that before? I do it all the time. Dude, what's a, I started driving into the city, but now my car sucks. That's also a point where like, you know those times when you bomb and you're like on that train ride home? Oh, Sunday. And then you're like. That shit sucked. Yeah. Bombing that black ass comedy show oh, fucking yeah. sucked, yo. <laughs> no, but, <I'm> so- <laughs> but it, it, it was also because like. No, but like, you know what I'm saying? You know that train ride home, you're like, fuck, I got like seven stops. This is going to suck. I can only imagine being on like a ferry where you bomb. You're like, Ooh. yeah, the, the ocean looks real good. <laughs> <laughs> this is bullshit. It looks desirable. Right. Yeah. Mad I, bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> I have those moments, dude, where I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, I had a bad set. I didn't hang out. People aren't booking me enough. And, but you just... I could jump in this water. I could jump in this water. <laughs> nobody nobody would notice. No, no, no. No, no, no. And people would be like, oh, you know what? Do you know what's great about dying as a young comedian? You never have to live up to your potential. Dude, can I die? <laughs> can I be the dying part of Dope Dope? Will you, like, will you continue the show if I die? I don't know, Nat. Can I continue the show if, we, if, if Dylan dies? I mean, you could do whatever you want. Yeah, we that's could not j- my decision to make. Yeah, <laughs> n- then you could be doped up and dying. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know? Oh, doped up and dead? Doped up and dead. Yeah. Oh, we just changed the name. Doped up. No, yeah. we. You're dead. Oh, so, okay. <laughs> you committed suicide. You put a stick in Kevin's Whoa, ass. He's propped up. Suicide. He's a corpse. It's good. I, I would. I, maybe I'll go out like a blaze of glory, like suicide by a cop. Oh yeah. How, How would you do it? 
Like, I mean, what would you also, do? By the way, as, how would you get a cop to kill as, you? As as a, as a as a white man, it also might wait, take a while to get those cops to shoot me. That's true, but don't be. You see, now you're the hat. That's the, funny though. Wait, Come wait, on, wait, wait, let me finish. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man! You keep cutting me off. Fucking, you're becoming the hack sour you dills. Hate. <laughs> sour dills. You're becoming the hack you hate. Okay. The hack you hate. All right. Don't be the hack you hate. Be the hack right? you want to be. Be the <laughs> hack you want to be. <laughs> 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 Don't be the hack you hate. Be the hack you want to be. <laughs> That's so stupid. Let's get into plugs music. Jesus Christ, this is a fucking episode. Maybe the second half we can talk about Nick a little bit. Yeah, yeah. We gotta talk about no. Well, Nick is just chilling, bro. He's hanging <laughs> okay, out, bro. I'll play therapist. I'll like, keep drinking this fucking. Tequila. <laughs> hey, we should do another shot for these plugs. Uh, Nick, care? Do you have anything to plug? Uh yeah. Tomorrow night, uh, Dojo of Comedy. This comes out Sunday. Comes All out right, Sunday. then no. <laughs> <laughs> What's your Instagram? Uh, uh, Nick Cara, the I is a one. Okay. And then Twitter? Uh, don't go to my Twitter. Don't go to your Twitter? <laughs> my Twitter sucks. Yeah. It's, uh, it's actually kind of good. Or something, actually funny. Something like oh, that. Oh, actually funny. The okay. at, and then C-T-U-A-L-E. I thought he was yeah, describing yeah. his Twitter. Yeah, I was like, is yeah, it yeah, like, actually kind of good? Yeah. Yeah. But like, I'm not going to give it out. Y'all don't deserve it like that. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. No, it's really good. You guys are And what about your now. podcast, buddy? Oh, the donkey's mouth with Stan Toulouse. Wow. I didn't know that shit was called a donkey's mouth. It's so a good that's name. a wild name, yo. Why, name. why'd you call it donkey's mouth? Um we had a really hard time coming up with names. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Sanchez. Yo, it's Kev Sanchez on Instagram. It's Kev Sanchez on Twitter. Change that shit up. Oh wait, on Twitter you're different? I had to. I Man. kept hating that it wasn't unified. Yeah, I told so it's finally the same. Well, <laughs> yo. I couldn't get It's Kevin Sanchez. Oh, we're talking about it. Plug your shit. We're talking about it. It's Kev Sanchez on Twitter. uh, And I got shows in Harlem. Oh. Every every other Friday. uh, With the great DC Williams. You can follow DC at uh, DC Does It. On Are Instagram? you plugging for DC? Yeah, I got to plug for my man DC, You're bro. Plugging for your, that's, your that's favorite real. comic of all time. That's my, that's my comedy hero. hero. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know why he's my comedy hero? Go ahead. He made a crippled man stand. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, it, it continues to get laughs. <laughs> you gave him knees. <laughs> uh, guys, you can follow me at Dylan J. Nega. Go on uh, YouTube. Follow us at Doped Up and Dying. We're at 1900. Get us a 2000. That'd be awesome. Thank you guys so much for listening. Let's get back into the show. Yo, um... Oh, Natalie, you know you what? Uh, Actually, no, Natalie, you're on a month high. I was yeah. going to say, you're Nat- mad at me? I don't Natty get the plug. Yeah, no, you are. Yeah, you're, you're, you're. Natty you're, Ice. You're, 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 it's you're, Natalie DeChico edits on Instagram. Don't follow my other Instagram. I won't let you. The fact that Kevin got the plug today was a big thing. What do you mean? I'm you joking. Mean? You would have beat my ass for your plugs. Damn. <laughs> I was going to cancel out Natalie's plugs for today. Everyone's on a, mo- a one month hiatus of my love. No, let me tell you something, buddy. <laughs> no one needs your love that much. <laughs> Damn. Nah, nah, I fucking love this kid, man. <laughs> Yo, I really do. I, I love, I love when hate, a like hater jokes friend. bomb. Yo, this guy fucking like. Oh, they were talking about it on No Need. Uh, you never done a, a funeral, right? Like when what you did, you, you never like had never played a funeral. Played like done. I like, fucking done a, murdered at funerals. You yeah. have? No. Oh. You mean like do stand up? Like get booked to do stand up so, at a funeral? Think, listen, I'll say this. That's think, not a bad idea, no, right? No, 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 no. Listen, I always thought it'd be fun to do like a fake funeral and do the roast of the guy in the casket. <laughs> And then he rises oh, up. So funny. A fake funeral. Thing, right? yeah. <laughs> no, but I think I think like uh we're, uh we're lucky enough to be young enough in comedy. You know, obviously, thank God like, we haven't you know lost too many you know homies along the way. Oh, but yeah, yeah. we when you have those, you know, you know, let's like, say doped up and dying. Oh, I've done that. Hopefully, you guys will be at my you know at my funeral. You know, sharing nice stories. But that's the thing. I'll be there. I'll be that's, see, laughing that's the my thing ass off. with my funeral, and I already know it. Everyone would go up there and go. It would be like it would be sub disses. It would just be straight sub dis. But here's the thing: it'd be like, "Yo, Dylan was great. He was amazing. Dylan, Dylan, when he wasn't they being do a that fucking at the annoying, right? Yeah, but you don't know where you're gonna be five years from now. Dead? Right? No, shut up, shut up, bro. <laughs> That's like where four years. <laughs> you don't know where you're gonna be five years from now. What people are gonna think of you and what, like, the mark you're gonna leave, right? So, like, I guess. For all you know, it's gonna it's gonna be maybe maybe this is the moment that they'll post on YouTube on some random account with like XXX man loves this. This, 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 and it'll be like they'll post this moment, and they'll be like, "Guys, look, Dylan did it." They'll post this moment in the podcast, and then I want to say like some dope music of me like winning an Emmy or something. It'll be like, Boom, you sh- know, can I tell you something? Sh- when people come up to me after, because uh, people come up to me after Black Ass usually when he fucks up, uh-huh. right? Because that's a rough room to do, especially the way they feel about him because 
of how they present but it. But everyone too scared to do it. Right? Now, I I want to call myself out, actually. Because there's sometimes people come up to me, instead of going like, did you say that to his face? I go, well, he's, you know, he's getting there, bro. Like, it's a rough room. Like, I try to, like, defend it instead of going like, why are you talking shit? Like, you nice? You really that nice? You let people talk their shit, dude. No, I don't. I, no, I didn't grow. I, I, I didn't, want, I I didn't, give, I I didn't grow give, up like that. I want to give anyone the opportunity to go up at Black Ass Comedy Show if they want to. Like, yeah, yeah, sure. You no, know, like it's 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 one of those things where it's like you know, it's like, you know how like what's that like the saying like talk shit get hit mm-hmm. like what like what can, like, how can we make it around like talk shit get the fuck on stage. Yeah, like I don't want to hear it. If you're the only white guy at a uh, black comedy show, you will get humbled quick if you just jump right into your material. Oh, for I've sure. I've noticed that. Of course. That's the first thing. That's By the way, that's what I did wrong. Uh, yeah, and I'll talk to them. Yeah. I, I was like, oh, what am I doing? Because I, for, why did I do, oh, I haven't been on, I will, whatever. I know the excuse I have in my head as to why it went well. He wants to say he had, wasn't on stage for eight days. Right. right. Um, there's that, but it's also like, I know better. Like, I took it too serious. Of course. Like, you can't, it's, it's like a certain level, it's like a certain amount fun. of, ser- you gotta have fun. Mm-hmm. And I forgot, oh yeah, I'm supposed to have fun here. They'll have fun the, if you're having fun. Yeah, and the only time I had fun is when I, like, I deviated from like whatever material I was gonna do. Mm-hmm. Because what I should have said was like, the two hosts were like, a married couple, you hope get divorced. Like, that's what I wanted to say, because they, mm-hmm. when they went up to it, you could tell they had no fucking chemistry together. And that's because they're not friends. That's you and the other comics? Yeah. I feel like me and Onika did okay, but you can clearly see, like, yeah, we've never done comedy together. We never, we've. Yeah, don't hang out. Yeah, like, we don't, we're not, like, hanging out. Even if you do, like, no offense, but, like, it's like, even, like, when you hang out with, uh, like, I, I'm obviously friends with Kev, but the first time we hosted a show together, it was like, mm-hmm. like, we've done, like, we did, like, three at one point. We're, like, the, by the third one, he was like, buddy. We, we need to, I, I, he's like, there's times where, like, I don't, I don't know what you want me to do. Mm-hmm. And, like, you know, it, it's, it's a learning process. Like, I don't, I think people also see, like, like that rapport is built over years. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. like, like to, 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 to tennis with, like, a conversation like that with somebody. Mm-hmm. On stage. Naturally. In on, front of people. Funny. It's hard no matter what. That's, um, well, you have the Jeff Ross, David Tell thing, but those guys cool. know each other for. No, but, that, but that's why it is funny because. Dylan, do you think black people think you're racist? I'm sorry, I have to cut you off because I, I, I really want to know. They're ready for him to be racist. Ooh, that's a good fucking point right there. Interesting. I feel like I, that, that is an interesting point because it always does feel like sometimes like you're almost getting tested. Mm-hmm. You're almost being like, come on, get mad. Get mad. Come yeah. on. So you think that they're trying they to want, you on yeah. to see if you're going to be racist? Um, I don't want to say that. No. It's one of those things where it's like, okay, how do I say this? Okay, well, so. This is a this is a kind of a bad example, but this is the only way I can say it in my eyes. Like if I'm at a, like if I'm at a, I like my girlfriend. If I'm like with my girlfriend and we're, we're arguing, if I'm like peak mad and we're still like in the same room, and she's like like if I'm at like at her, like say she's let's say she we like understand you're up. mad at her. She you're messed up, yeah. but I'm saying she's in the wrong. I'll do something where I'm like, she'll be like obviously like being like baby, I'm sorry, baby, I'm sorry, but like I'll throw those little disses, little like sub disses, <laughs> and you'll just be like. Oh, I, I don't like. Uh, oh, well, you know, you did this, but uh, but but and like something that like yeah, that you're, you're testing until to like I hate the, to get Harrington, her to break. Can Harrington hear me? Harrington, can you hear me? Sure Har- can. I, I don't like the way he just blew smoke at me. Why not? I don't like the way you just did that. You I can't, can't hear, hear him. him. Yeah, I mean, I, this, right. to, to, he can hear us. Yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, I don't like the way you just blew smoke at me. This is real fun was, for the audience. It was real, yeah, no. it was yeah. real sexual. <laughs> Kevin just learned never to play that. to that window. What's up, guys? Let's take a quick second and thank our newest sponsor here at Doped Up and Dying Knee Even Eyewear. You see me, I got them on. I'm looking fly as ever. Knee Even is our favorite new partner because the they best. never need a promo code. They know their sunglasses rule. I know they rule because I got them on. They're their amazing. deal is even better, and our Doped Up and Dying crew will be coming their way. Guys, you shouldn't have to break the bank for sunglasses. This is my new favorite thing. I yes, get like sir. three or four pairs at a time. Yes, if you lose one, you break one. It doesn't really matter because like that's how good they are. They're so cheap. So, guys, go check out kneeeveneyewear.com. See their full line of men's, women's sunglasses. Buy one, get two pairs. Two pairs free. Ooh. Just add three pairs to your cart. We even that's three pairs. We even got Natalie one. Natalie, look at Natalie. Me even. Beautiful guys. It's everlasting guarantee. No, I just said if you lose them or you break them, yeah. you, can, you have two more. Oh my god, dude. They even have a guarantee you're lost stolen. So you still have your three pairs. How so many you break that one? Do that? You have all the pairs. That's how cheap knee even Come is. Come on, man. Knee even is the best. Also, every time you get a free gift with your purchase, they even have polarized lenses if you're into that. 
and I like a good polarizer. You know, I, lo- I love a good Polaroid. Even we like to nude. be polarizing. Even when it's a nude. Yeah. Um, guys, one more time. Go to KneeEvenEyewear.com, and they know that every pair is shipped with the love of the Space Coast in Florida, Florida USA. USA. Florida, baby. We're coming to you from Cocoa <laughs> Beach, Florida. Cape Canaveral, Florida. NASA technology in the glasses. And you know what? If it's good enough for NASA, it's good enough for your sunglasses. Get the hell out of here. Come on, guys, guys. even Dope to been dying. Go Thank get you it so today. Much. Thank you, guys. Everyone, everyone here has to learn it one one time or another. No, can I tell you something? Play it a window. Who cares? This is a podcast. Like, uh, the people listening, listening to, might yeah. care. No, no, no. <laughs> who cares? No, no, you, who, no, you need no. to put a camera on the brick wall for the window to matter. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> but there's, there's also like a few people who go like, I wish I knew who was on that side of the window. Oh. I wish. Oh, that's awesome that he's talking about it. Like, it doesn't matter. Yeah, that would matter. suck. I, I hate I, that. You, <laughs> no, you ever seen Opie and Anthony? They do that shit all the time. And I was like, I and love they're that. they're canceled, aren't they? They, well, they canceled because someone, you know, pulled a gun on a, Jesus on someone. So, all right, we're deviating. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're, so, we're, so, we're, we're so deviating. do you, like, Jesus. how often do you feel like someone's trying to bait you into racism? I, again, so what I was going to say was, it's not baiting into racism. It's like, you'll, you'll, you're saying shit to get a rise out of somebody. And you're like, oh, like. Are you like, getting heckled at these shows a lot? No, no, no. no. It's, it, no, no, it's They're not. just letting you bomb. Mm-hmm. No, 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 it's not kill. that. It's 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 literally Dave and Derek show, and they say like if you want to go up, like go up by any means. Mm-hmm. Some weeks I do now, some weeks I don't. Like at one point I was going up every week, regardless if I did well, did not. Some like again, when you kill, you kill. When you mm-hmm. bomb, you bomb. But it's funny because like Lawrence, who who's gonna be on the show, I kind of even want to confront him about that because Lawrence is, him. is one of those people that will like you know talk shit. But I'm really like, Lawrence like. I don't think you're getting on this. Like, you know, are, are you saying this because we're not on the same stages? Like that, that, that cause I, I, I know for a fact you and Miles Toe came to Grizzly Pear midnight Saturday when I was murdering, murdering. Yeah, I didn't give. Do you, you guys, you guys, you, you guys didn't get flowers, Dylan? Why don't you give Dylan, flowers? Do you think? Do you think they thought you were murdering? Maybe well, it's not their already, comedy, I guess. If, I don't know. If comics don't already like you and they see you murdering, they blame the crowd. That's. Kind Very true. They go, it oh, that's true. a dumb audience. Of course he's killing with them. And mm-hmm. I could kill with them even harder. Right. Nick has been dropping truth bombs this entire episode. <laughs> that's, why we that's why we bring Nick. Yeah, can we get what a call cares? center? I'm giving him a compliment. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Would you like another shot? Uh, uh, Nat, when, when no, you that said shot we were, was huge. Oh, I'm still working not on able it. To hear Nat? No, I heard her. Oh. oh. No, I heard her. Nat, no. The two w- shots deep and get a little mean. <laughs> no, no, no. You know how I am when I'm drunk. I throw drinks in people's faces. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I threw a drink in Dylan's face a long time ago. Uh, I didn't know that it stung when it reaches your eyes. Oh, this, cu- this is George Clooney's shit. I'm not going to say the name. It's George Clooney's shit. It's George, that's cool. I already said the name earlier, but that's cool. I like that you did it that way. <laughs> he sold this, no? Did he? I don't give a shit. It's his shit. We're going to change his name in this podcast to ADHD the podcast. ADHD the pod? Ooh. Why? Because the subject no, ADHD? No, stop. Don't get hyped. I like that. <laughs> ADHD the pod. We no. remix one of Kendrick's fucking little songs. No. That'd be kind of fire, bro. I don't know. When do you get to a point? I like, like you thought Kendrick, and I'm thinking of the disorder that I have, ADHD. Everyone like, has ADHD, right. bro. Stop making it about yourself. We're talking yeah, about bro, Kendrick. That's probably why we... Ha- that's why they hate you, bro. You said we. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we hate you. <laughs> That's a fr- uh, what is that? A fro- a Freudian slip. Freudian slip. Freudian slip. Can you say it? Freud. Is it Freud? Yeah, he's the guy that thinks everyone wants to fuck their parents. Oh yeah, he's that dude. You know what's crazy? When I was a kid, you wanted, you wanted to, to fuck, fuck your, your parents? Mom. No, I remember seeing one of my. Is I'm a doctor. Italians want to fuck their parents. Uh, don't cut me off. When, <laughs> <laughs> when I was a kid, uh, I seen. Uh, my cousin, let's say my cousin, because I'm a doctor, it's hard, I don't even know how to describe this. So, he's like three years old, mm-hmm. and he's it's kissing hot. the mirror. Oh, okay. Right? Kissing the mirror, and saying, mommy. I swear, I'm never, I, I, it's ingrained mm-hmm. in my brain, I remember him doing this shit. Well, in your life, as a little boy, you're the first woman you know is your mom. Is your mom. But he's, but I don't understand how, I guess, because he grew up with his mom and dad, and he sees them mm-hmm. kiss. So he sees that as his affection, but I'm never gonna forget that. And then when I heard about Frodi and believing that you mm-hmm. want to fuck your parents, I'm like, yeah, he's not wrong. Well, no, one he's a three year old. He's like a four year old or some shit like that. I don't remember, but like, right. I remember that action. I was like, this is fucking weird. A man. lot of like your wet dreams as like you're growing up is like about like your mom pops up in them. A lot of them. I, I took a psychology class once. <laughs> it's, it's, it's something you're not allowed to say. I've I know. never heard that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah But absolutely. also, you forget your dreams, so you never know. 
No, you, you're just embarrassed about them. Kevin, <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, it's okay. You can admit. Well, this I'm, is, this I'm, is safe. I'm, ado- safe I'm adopted, bro. So like, that's even better. You yeah, can totally yeah, yeah, fuck yeah, your yeah, mom. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You fucking your mom means nothing. Yeah, I have something that I want to say. More of a right moral now. thing. Say it. I really say care. it. I really care. Yo. Do it. I will fuck my mom. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Mom's eighty. Um, Mom's eighty right now. All right, so born 1942. I mean, I mean, if anyone knows how to cheat or rights, or goddamn son, huh? So if if anyone knows how to cheat or rights, or son, no, I don't know how to cheat. My nah, mom I don't right. know about that. I'm a Dominican. Bro. <laughs> I'm Dominican. What are you, what are you gonna say? No, nah, I can't. Say, I can't say it, bro. Wait, Tell so if you're it to me. if you're adopted, did you grow up uh, in a Dominican house? Or are you and you're not I actually grew, Dominican, or are you Dominican? And you I'm grew up Dominican. In a house? Grew up in a Puerto Rican house. Which oh, was a so they shit just, show. You're like Harry Potter. In a, in a, <laughs> honestly, in a way, I really am, man. They treated me like, sh- they, like it's weird to say this because they treat me nice now, right? Mm-hmm. And it, it it's weird. It's like they would do shit that I think because they didn't have the internet and the resources mm-hmm. that they would do things that is like really fucked up, Re- like super fucked up uh-huh. to a child, right? Gotcha. So as an adult, I could rebuttal. As a child, I'm like, I guess... Is because I am Dominican and I did fuck up. Like it, it uh-huh. would be crazy shit like that that it will say. And it was like, oh man. Did you have a, a Dominican identity before you were adopted? D- well, yes, because they would be like, you know why you, you do fucked up things? It's because you're Dominican. So uh, like, you and- are Dominican Harry Potter. Like they wouldn't let you do barber shops, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it was a it was a weird existence, bro. Like, I, uh, whatever. I don't like never drinking tequila on the show again because oh, yeah? it gets me too. Uh, I think it gets me emotional. Oh really? Yeah, uh, it gets you emotional. Gets me emotional. I was about to that is tear true. up right there, dude. Um, it's funny how you say like they would say like uh, you know you would you'd fuck up because you're Dominican. Like, yeah. Did you ever? Did it ever make you feel like you know um, like you didn't want to be Dominican? You wanted like you would just lie to people and be like I'm Puerto Rican. I did for a little bit when I was in middle school, and then I went to high school, and I actually started meeting Dominicans, and they were the most fun people I've ever met in my life. Mm -hmm. Then I started, like, going to their Christmases, like, through my best friend and stuff, and I was like, my Christmases are not like this. Like, it used to be like that. Puerto Rican Christmas and Dominican Christmas are vastly different? Um, No, they're both on the street with a barbecue. uh, You see, you're (laughs) becoming the hack you hate. And is not that, that hack, hack you want to be. <laughs> <laughs> so I um I was I, I don't know if it's because I'm adopted or is it, or, or or what it is, but like our family at, at a certain age, all of us people just moved away and we just stopped having like these close intimate Christmases and, and you didn't have the holidays. twenty person holiday. It stopped after <laughs> my grandmother died. No, well, well, Italians do the same shit. Yeah. It stopped after my grandmother died. Once my she was the she was the the, the glue that held the family mm-hmm. together. And she was a bad motherfucker. She mm-hmm. if you talk shit about me and my little brothers who are also Dominican and adopted by my mom, mm-hmm. she would kick you out the party. She goes, What's you, up with your mom and uh, adopting Dominicans? No Chinese well, kids. She well, it was in East Harlem. Oh, uh, they couldn't find them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think honestly, it's like school districts where like yeah, so like if. You're They're like you don't live in Chinatown. Exactly. Like, no, well, something like that. Like this. this. <laughs> Wait, was she was adopting just like the way you adopt like a cat? You're just like, oh, I found one here. It is. <laughs> it's, he, it's, it was living on the stairs. You know, like I mean, it needs a home. Yeah, I've been giving it tuna cans for months. Like, I just don't <laughs> let it in. <laughs> it's like um, I think it has something to do with zip codes. Okay. Honestly. Zip codes and. You know, my mom didn't just adopt to adopt because she needed mm-hmm. uh um. She wanted a child. She ado- She was a foster parent. Oh, was she getting checks and shit? She was getting checks. Ah. My whole neighborhood. I didn't find this out. I, I didn't put it together until years later, but it was like, mm-hmm. oh my God, there's a lot of adopted kids in this neighborhood. Really? Because that's a hustle in the hood. It's like- Collecting children? Co- well, for checks. For <laughs> right. government checks. Well, right? I lived in a group though. home when I was a little kid for a little bit. And What did your we, parents do? Uh, both were in jail at the same time. Oh, well, for what? Uh, uh, one. You my, are from Florida. Yeah, yeah. No, my mom was in jail for uh, uh, driving uh, on drugs. Okay. And what like, drugs? 
uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> and my dad was in jail for uh, hitting my mom for driving on drugs. And, uh, <laughs> is that true? No, no, just for hitting. By the mom. way, by okay. the way, they were both on drugs at different locations, <laughs> driving to go get food, <laughs> yeah, and yeah. both ran the red light, t boned each other. Yeah. I like how you My dad once got arrested area. because he took That's the also roof off of a moving truck and had no shoes on. And they were like, this guy's loaded. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what the fuck did you just say? Uh, yeah. can, I, can I make sense of it? Is it that it was a moving truck and he went under like a bridge? and He, he went under a tree. Is this Was this in Florida? Yeah, of course. I mean, buddy, what do you want me, what do you want me to say? This yeah. is crazy. <laughs> he, he peeled off like the, the thing. So like yeah, he can. got into a fight and he gave the guy amnesia. I no. Wait, 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 this is a different off. story though. This is no, it's the same story. story. So holy he shit! Got, he got into a fight. He was driving drunk. Got into a fight with some guy that he had like beef with or whatever, and uh, he gave the guy amnesia. My dad kicks some ass. And uh, That's a, look at that. He still loves his dad. Yeah, of course. He still loves his dad. He had to brag about him a little bit. Like he's a bad no, no, guy, no, no, but no, no, also no. how awesome is this? No, I know. He leaves I know, me, I, but he I, throws I a it. mean left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no. It's, have anyway, you, you got beat up by your dad <laughs> once. Once I got fucking cream. Now, what, what, now let me ask you a question. Did you Were you trying it? to be a tough guy? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, exactly. No, I was trying. I was. Yeah. I went in like, don't hit my mom, and as if I was uh, like gonna like do little, something. And he was like, you little bitch, I beat you up too. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I got a quick elbow to the head. I was like, oh okay, all right, John Jones. <laughs> like, all right, hit her. <laughs> so wait, wait, yeah, I walked out. He gave a guy amnesia. Who called the cops on him? Uh, some neighbor or something like that. And gave him like, okay. Yeah, the guy was like, I don't know, where am I? He had his kid in the car. Oh, my God. But it's on that guy, too. Why are you trying to fight people with your with kid your in the car? Yeah, but this is also trying to stuff, your, trying to stuff is, for your kid. What? He's not going to remember this. It's like, that's like taking your child to like Disney I think, World when they're really young. Well, that's what I think happened with the guy who was like, he's not going to hit me with my kid in the car. Oh, my God. Dylan, you just gave me a good idea. What? Is if I ever have children, I'm like, I took you to Disney World all the time. From yeah, like no, no. ages three to five, you don't remember? Because <laughs> you don't remember, you know? Yeah, you just it's Photoshop true. them into pictures and shit. Uh, it's so easy. You, yeah, you could just put mouse ears on their head and just in front of the <laughs> dumb castle. Yeah, but but then you're just opening yourself up to just, if I was a kid, I'd be like, all right, if we've done it four times, what's another time? I'm like, we're broke now. All right, you just, it, it ain't, not, it, now, it, not, I ain't doing so hot. I ain't doing so hot. You went. What do you want to go again for? Yeah. You won. You won. You, went. you don't remember? That's your you problem. You saw it. You bro. hated it. <laughs> you, hate it. <laughs> you kept telling me, though, you hate mice. Yeah. You were like, yo, yo, that, that is also funny. You, you take pictures of him that are crying. You're like, dude, every picture of you here is crying. Yeah. <laughs> every time you go, you hate it. Yeah. I would Photoshop you in the water on the Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, right? <laughs> drowning. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of uh, drowning. Wait, no, no, no. This motherfucker is. Hold on. Before you get to this drowning, we got to get it to Nick. Because Nick. Got to get into him. What? Oh, buddy, you don't got to make sexual. What are you, DC? That's a DC joke. That was a DC joke. Speaking right of DC, there. we have a voice note from DC. No, you don't. No, you don't. So we, on this podcast, <laughs> so, I'm sorry for derailing it six times. I don't like give two, a shit. I'm chilling. You know, six times to get through a really good derail about it. Yeah. Like, but, you, ever, like, you ever like fuck up a, a basketball play so well, it lands in someone who's open and they just look around like, I'm going to splash this. Oh, I lay guess up. you just lay it up. Yeah, lay that's up. like when it goes out of bounds and you just So DC, <laughs> DC has this horrible habit of sending us two-minute voice notes, right? It's hilarious. No, it's not, buddy. It's infuriating. <laughs> it's infuriating, especially when we're talking about business. Like, hey, we're going to be in Atlantic City this weekend. So like, and it's like, dude, don't send me a text I can read, mm -hmm. you know? So we got on him last week. I made us, you know, whatever. We, we all got on him. We, I, I pointed out, I was like, dude. People are working. People are doing other things. You can't be sending voice notes. And then we had... It is annoying. It is, uh, and then and Kevin was in Austin, so he sent a voice note from Austin that was like a minute and a half long just to show DC... Also, by the way, if you pause it and want to hear any of the information back in the voice note, you have to listen to the whole voice note again. Yeah, you can't just like fucking rewind a voice note. Uh, I like the Instagram voice notes. I'll talk to... I'll have whole conversations on those ones. Why? Because you can just go no, back and forth. and Yes, you can. No, you can't. I do it all the time. What are you talking about? Listen, I not on the I, no. I draw DC penises with iPhone. my voice. <laughs> what? On the Instagram voice. I, by the way, I've done that before. I'm like uh, other things too. I'm I like, did uh, it with yeah. a girl for like four hours once. We you just should, kept drawing penises. You with know, if you want like go go <laughs> go. What everyone, everyone, about? open your voice memo app right now and just go. Wow. Yeah. And you'll just make a dick. We would try keep, and do it with the word penis. Ready? We'd go. Hey, ready? Penis, and then you'd make it. If you're if you're listening to right now, there there's an audio waveform somewhere in this episode of a penis. Yeah. But but DC's voice note isn't that long. He sent me three that are eight seconds, fifteen seconds, and then one second. Oh, that's doable. So very doable. But um, 
Maybe he doesn't get the bit anymore. Or maybe he's trying to be better. I haven't listened to these. Okay. I have not what fed them. What time did he sell? Oh, today at 1.30. So this is not about... This. Go ahead. I have ahead. no idea. Hey, yo, I don't know why you hating on that. Voice notes. Voice notes are the best, bro. You know, I could be jacking off right now and I'm sending this to you. Voice notes are the best. I hear the wind, DC. Also, I send voice notes because I know you're dyslexic and I want to make it easy on you, okay? Okay. And yeah. I know Kevin be speaking that Spanglish shit, so I just try to make it He doesn't even know Spanish. I take time to type a bunch of shit. They should Look at this. I just said like 200 things in like five seconds. Voice notes rule. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you saved it at the end. You made a good point. Oh, I hate it. You know what? <laughs> but so, but, but also. But those, those are another typical voice notes he sends. No, usually they're like mad complicated and shit. No, but you need to understand, I got so mad at DC because we were texting the other day. And he goes, Yo, I'm by the stand. Where are you? I go, I'm home. He goes, All right, I'm, I'm ahead of that area. Well, that area. I go, Nah, I'm chilling for a little bit. He goes, All right. It was um it was a blog party after show. I go, what? He goes, the stand. They just finished. I go, what show? He goes, Street Talk. I go, the ones that do the uh the bing bong fuck your life. He goes, cause the stand posted it. Nah, that's side talk. By the way, if you're confused, <laughs> you should by the way, if you're confused, you should be. Yeah. Nah, that's side but talk. But as well, but as well do shows New York Comedy Club. You're so confused in DC. I love you, buddy, but I wish you could read this from my point of view. And then he just goes, voice note? <laughs> and then after that point I realized something He's retarded He's retarded Like he's not good with he's his right, words He's not good with his words So he, he has to do voice notes mm -hmm. So he can get his words off I just had an idea What if they You know how they'll like Had a thing called voice to text Yeah that's what I mean They transcribe If someone leaves you a message They transcribe it Apple does Yeah you because do that with voice notes Yeah because Well when you get a voicemail they can they transcribe it. Yes. They don't do that for DC's dumbass messages. So you can't click on it and go see it transcribed. It's just what, Natalie. We could sell, by the way, Natalie. I'm selling that idea and I'm stealing it from you because you're on a one month hiatus and I don't love you. Um, no. I, I'm, I'm so mad. We're going on Shark Tank. We'll discuss this, Kevin. Later. You want you want to practice our Shark Tank pitch right now? No, but Mark Cuban. I know what you want to invest in. Oh, I just want Cuban. All I want is Cuban. You know, if you see those <laughs> investors that go on Shark Tank and they all just want, I Cuban? want nothing to do with Mark Cuban. Nah, dude, I want Mark Cuban. Oh, I'm wait, you, oh, you're you not a real fan. Heat fan, bro. No, 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 only Nick right. Cara is. Yo, wow, I'm the only one. bro. You <laughs> willing to work with the enemy like that, bro? No, keep doing it. You'll never I get that jersey. I want Mr. Happy. Keep doing That's this. what You'll I never want. Get that jersey. I'm, no, I'm not, I'm not getting it. It's been two years. You'll get that jersey. It'd be like a signed, a dope one. You're going to get like, by the way, the longer the time goes, the doper the jersey Yo, dude, gets. Dude, dude, I hope it happens. You're going to get that when he retires. I hope retires. it happens when, no, no, no. I hope it happens not only when he retires. It's going to When LeBron retires. I hope it happens when he, this guy is actually selling out clubs or theaters and he has to pay LeBron to present me the jersey. That's what I want to happen. Actually, I, I imagine, hope he gave you a this. win, which is like that that's your boy then. What? He gave you a win you're selling out. When oh yeah, you yeah, can yeah, get yeah, LeBron yeah, yeah. James. Listen, that's listen, nice. Listen. I this this is the plan. This if. is the plan. There's two plans. It's either going to happen the Kev way and that's that way or Ben Simmons is going to get traded. To the Lakers next season, and I'm getting you a signed Ben Simmons L.A. Lakers jersey. No one's Kev? signing. No one's signing Ben Simmons. He's he's got back surgery. He it's got surgery on his back. It, yes, the next he got surgery on I, I his heart, as I yeah. need as well. Yeah, I thought I thought he was just so uh, emotionally in turmoil that he couldn't play basketball. Dude, isn't it insane? And this dude got paid thirty million. Something. He's crazy. a thirty million dollar mascot. He sucks. Dude, that is insanity. Yeah, he played good for four years. Has not played a game in what two, three years now? It this would be the no, no it's he last playoffs he got beat and then he hasn't he played, wasn't did, no he hasn't played since yeah, last playoffs he hasn't played, the the last playoffs was his, when that's when he didn't dunk and then they lost and then yeah. the series lost and then they moved. I, I do blame Doc Rivers a little bit though. But by the way, can I say something hilarious? I, I I do hate that we're doing sports I talk again, but we're doing it at the end, so that's okay. Yeah, that's cool. We'll happen this. We're gonna do sports talk. We'll save it till the end. Uh. Doc Rivers is not a good coach. Oh, he's a fraud. He's a bro, fraud. He's a fraud. How many leads you, is this guy gonna blow? Not even like leads, but like you couldn't do anything with the Clippers. That you, Clippers. Did team? you ever hear like how people described his coaching? He's like, yeah, he kind of just lets you go out there and do you know do your thing. Oh, uh, that's great. Yeah, uh, it's just an organized sport, dude. Doc Rivers is not a good coach. Uh, he's not even Hall of Fame. Not even in the question of like bro, he's gonna get in the Hall of Fame because of that Boston. I'll team. take Nick Nurse over Doc Rivers. Well, Nick Nurse is actually a good coach. 
great coach. Who who was uh, uh what's the name of the? Uh, I take Ty Lu. I take Ty Lu. Did you just over ask Doc what the Rivers. Heat's coach was? Heat assistant coach that went and did. Oh, uh, Karan from, Butler. No, who went on to the the Knicks? Oh, I don't know. Da- uh, David um, Woodson. Oh, uh, even like look, remember he got fired and then LeBron even spoke out for him. Fuck. Ball Duke glasses. Um, I don't know. Dave Fisdale. Dave Fisdale. Oh. Uh, that's a better coach than Doc, Doc Rivers. Let me tell you something. Mm. Rivers, even as a Heat fan, he didn't agree with that. Rivers thing. is a great coach for veterans that are a little bit past their prime. Would you say that one more time? He's a, Doc Rivers is a great coach mm-hmm. for veterans who just are a little bit past their prime. Like good is it, veterans. Is it because so he's Boston also a coach past, past his prime? He's not... I, I, I don't think he even had know. a prime. I don't think I he had a prime because like he went from failing, 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 and then a big uptake. But he had what was before he Clippers? had the best Boston, Boston, and what was before Boston, or uh, Orlando, I think. What was before Orlando? Sorry, to keep. I, I think know, Orlando was his first. I know it sounds like I'm quizzing you, but oh, Orlando was his first. I think coaching so. job. Mm-hmm. That because he complained about being in like a nice Orlando, C- C- Orlando Celtics. But he wasn't a was, player, or he was. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Yeah, he was. Yeah. Yeah. That's the that's, that's the reason that's why a lot of people yes that's why he has a job because a lot of people go Doc Rivers knows how to he knows what it's like to be in the NBA and so veterans respect him the problem I is I get it yeah, but not that many player coaches end up being that good like Steve Kerr is the exception yeah he's great yeah but he's like so far but and Doc Rivers is so far down the bench ones. that you you would think I don't know bro like people are saying Nash should be fired right now he's had one Steve year Nash and I'm like dude. But you did. I thought you said Nat, and I was like, guys, I'm not that angry. No, Jesus like, Christ. Steve Nash, Steve Nash. So, like, they're saying Steve Nash should be fired, and I'm like, um, you tried. Co- no. no, he's been there for two years. No, I, no this is his first year, I thought. No, but uh, it's two years. Um, okay. Two years. I think there's, there's, it's, like, it's like the Miami Dolphins. The, the Nets, they have bigger problems than a coach. It's an organization issue. It's a, it's a, it's a top to bottom issue. It's a, you brought in I Kyrie a, and a, Kevin Durant, who are the like best like ISO players you've ever seen. Mm-hmm. They need a glue guy. None of those guys. They need a guy that's such a big fucking leader, but also at the and, same time humble. Well, here's the reason LeBron. Like Chris Bosh didn't need the ball all day every day. I think Chris. Paul he would just, he's would, happy with rebounds. Yeah, I think Chris Paul in Brooklyn that they will win a championship. I think yeah, so because maybe. he would get everybody involved. And listen, James Harden was getting everybody involved. He had like ten triple doubles in a row. He had honestly, he did crazy shit. That looks like it's really dumb trade. Even oh, though no, he was past his prime, that trade easily. Even though he, you can tell, I didn't, I didn't want to win any games I, though. I, I didn't want it. Not yet. I didn't want to admit this because I like Harden. I like his game. He's wild me. Like he's like holy shit. This well, guy, there was, was rumors amazing. of him going to Miami for Hero, and I was like, fuck that. I don't want it. And then he went to... Yo, I hate you two, yo. Yo, that what? shit is crazy. Oh, yeah, Why? Out loud. Why? You got six man of the year. Look, I, James Harden I'm in a, can't I'm in a group. Hero, Hero won six man of the year. Yeah, he won yeah, six he man of the year. Yes, he did. For real? Yes, yeah. Sir. How what was his average? I, I haven't kept up with my average. He but, takes the most wait, shots on the team. Wait, I saw, I saw, I'm, I'm in a group chat with all Philadelphia fans. Sixers fans. That's annoying. And uh, all my friends, though. All right. And uh, 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 Tom is one of them. And he posts... Sends this. Uh, if you can see, it, it's just James Harden in an outfit, and he just goes, "Scared, Dylan." And I said back, "Tyler Hero, that six man award." I said, <laughs> and I said, I said, never, never. And then last night, if you watched the game, this is this is recorded. I haven't recorded. watched it yet. I, I gotta watch the highlights. But I'm allowed to talk about it, right? Okay. okay. Well, it's been a. Day. This is recorded Thursday. You know that know game was on Wednesday. Okay. Tyler Hero went off. There was some some shots, yeah. like some little fadeaways. You're like, what the fuck? And. This is one of the people uh, uh, of responses in there. If you took every annoying white boy face from Duke throughout the history... Again, with the white boy shit, this is a white boy episode. If you took every annoying white boy face from Duke throughout the history of time and rolled them into one, you would get this face. Fucking boy George looking Heroes motherfucker. Heroes from something. Kentucky. Blake, someone please take a flick of one in the first five minutes and have this pussy shaking. And I go, we call him Boy Wonder in Miami. They go, how appropriately gay. People he also gets baby goat. Finding out baby goat. Wait, wait. Right? I don't do it. Baby go. <laughs> <laughs> finding you, everyone in the league finding out that Hero is the real deal is the funniest thing. Because, bro, it's like watching mm-hmm. myself win. Mean Hero? Bro, pull up Tyler Hero. <laughs> pull up this Tyler is Hero. Why people are no, like, no, there's probably no, white it. boys on here. Yeah, that, that's is, why you get that. Yo, white boys be winning. Man, man, you know what? We were wrong. You are a fan of JJ Redick. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't say that on the fucking. Uh, I was at outside. I was outside because we were saying. I, I was telling. I was. I was. Um. I was telling him what we were going to talk about today, and he goes, "People act like 
Dylan is going to just be a fan of J.J. Reddick. And it turns out that it's not that far off. Yeah. I, I, I like any villain, though. Well, we made the same point as, like, we've looked up to black dudes our entire lives because we're young fucking kids. But... Um and we're like yeah people act like he's gonna like cheer for JJ Reddick and, and Jason Le- Williams yeah. over LeBron James and turns no, out but like, he oh, does dude, wait. yeah but sometimes <laughs> he cheers but, for half of Blake Griffin I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I will say this though just his left knee <laughs> listen there's something to like seeing someone who kind of resembles who you are mm-hmm. doing well and you like you take pride in that it's like well if this guy is kind of if he's doing well in a, in a in a world where he's really not supposed to be doing that well, right? I can do it. Then you are in a world like because he used to. Tyler, do you know what's interesting about Dylan? Tyler got swag. I hate saying this. I hate saying the. I do like Tyler? <laughs> Tyler who? Hero. Hero. He's gonna be around. I don't want to get rid of him. Well, he won six man of the year. I just found that out today. Yeah. That's breaking news to me. Breaking news. Breaking news. <laughs> Wait, did you want Kevin Love? Breaking news. Kevin Love wasn't winning. He was, just but he was in the running. He was the second place. Was a, dude, by the way, Kevin Love was in second place. Yeah, because he Kevin decided Kevin. to play basketball Why once after. Right now, they, it, he literally like shit. three, four weeks ago, it was. It, they were even the announcers were saying it, and they're like, and then six man of the year award, obviously runaway Tyler Hero is the favorite. It was not. There was not even like he's nobody. Second, there's no, you know what? He's second place, but he got two of the hundred and ninety eight votes for first place. Yeah, I think. Tyler got like ninety six votes. Oh, is it? A, is it? Is it a hundred total? Votes. So then I said, see, I said one ninety eight. I was right. 98 of the 100 total. So okay. it's like, yeah, he was in second place, but he, yeah, he was, did it, run they were the only two people. Okay. There was one more. I forget who it was. There was three people who got votes. But there is something to see. But again, that's where there's like a video of like a young black kid uh, seeing like a, a black like Disney character and being like, that's me. And everyone was like, oh my God, it's so great. People can finally see, you know, people of color can see themselves. And then if you're over here, like, yo, I love Tyler here because he looks like me. He'd be winning, got swag, hangs out, hangs out, yeah, chill, You can't balls do that up. as a white guy because Leonardo DiCaprio did so well. You know, <laughs> <laughs> enough white guys have done well that you can't. Yeah, you can't be happy for the one can't, can't in the black make, thing. You can't make Django almost win an Oscar and still like white people. <laughs> like the crunch sound in the uh, middle of that. I was like, what was that? I, I don't was know. that this? I, oh, that was up. <laughs> how about how about don't do it twice? Sorry. All right. Was it you fucking <laughs> You don't understand that I will murder you? <laughs> uh, but uh It is I, the bag. I gotta head out of here soon because I got I got um a couple of shows tonight, so I wanna get out of here a little bit early so I'm gonna eat. Got. Uh, I got your show and then I got some Brooklyn My show. My show's not to nine, so buddy. I got well, I got a show at like seven thirty, so I kinda wanna go get some food. Which one? I want to like about Brooklyn this dude, like a little artsy weed show. Like a you have to give it to those like uh, variety is this shows. The elf? No, a friend of the elf, uh, a friend of the elf, but like are you doing that one, one of those that, that we did together? That that guy no, again? Another, uh, one of those, but someone else. And okay, he gives he goes, you want twenty minutes? Oh, I'm doing twenty tomorrow in PA. So <laughs> oh yeah, I right. that guy. Yeah, by the way, yeah. I don't... Oh, by the way, don't yeah. call it uh, Scotty's World Famous Comedy Lounge because oh, I made know. that mistake and he screamed at me. Oh, okay, it's World Famous Scotty's. Oh, okay, World Famous Scotty's. Scotty's World Famous, not the Comedy Lounge. Not the Comedy Lounge. Just so you know. <laughs> Yo, he, uh, I saw him post. He was like, if anyone wants to do a set on Friday, I guess he did not like your tape. I didn't send him my tape. I hit him up first. And did like, hey, well, I'm assuming, did you send it? The tape? Yeah. No. So I hit him up. He was already found somebody. And I'm like. Right, I'll message him. No, that's fine. No, I'm bringing you. No. I'm bringing him. Yeah. I, no. Even I'm, though you're on one month hiatus. Nick, me and you. Actually, no, Nick, I'm bringing you. I can't tomorrow. I can't. I'm at the dojo. Guess guess who's on a month hiatus from his love? Damn. Guess who's added to the list? No, you guys can just end the show because I'm going to get the fuck out That's of here. That's it. <laughs> I, oh, wait. Before we end the show, can I tell you something? <laughs> Absolutely. I wasn't on Gas Games. Uh, okay. Was it just for the joke? Yep. It's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I wasn't going to tell you until they told you. And I was like, it should happen on Dope Dope first. Wait, so we got an hour and six into this podcast? Mm-hmm. How long is it usually just an hour? Guys, I work with the greatest comedians around. <laughs> with the funniest fucking people. Natalie, I'm sorry. <laughs> it wasn't a guess. By the way, I didn't care. No, you, no, you did. I just, it's just, it, when, when, when seven, eight of your friends all collude and go, Go fuck this guy. It's like, all right, guys, relax. Like, yeah. I, I have Why, you don't take too. that as like a, 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 a love? I would take that as love. I think a hug is love. Now, now, but now right, he does well, see it as love. He's like, 
I feel like an asshole. <laughs> He's like, whoa. Isn't that how you started? You were like, oh, I'm the asshole. And now you're like, oh, I'm, oh, I'm the <laughs> asshole. <laughs> so you are Natalie, the asshole. Natalie, if you can compile this into a long clip for YouTube, that's it's going to be hard, but you have to. Yeah, you're the asshole. Because, I'm the asshole. Because you could have been like, yo, Kevin, I'm, I, I'm so happy you were on Gas Games. Other people are going to know you now. Nah, I don't give a fuck about yo, that. Yo, you didn't yo. support your friend. You didn't support you know, the, the way. By you, the way, I knew you were going to be on Gas Games. They made this joke like a week ago, and I go, do it. Like I want him to be on it. That's great for him. Honestly, now it's actually sad that you weren't on Gas Games. You should I don't be believe on Gas you. Games. <laughs> Shut up. I'm, I'm, ba- I'm bailing myself out here. <laughs> I feel like Dylan's like, you better not put Kevin on Gas Games. <laughs> I might have kicked and screamed a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I know. I saw you walk out. I almost was tempted to be like, you know, I wasn't really on, but I was like, I'm going to let him sit in this one. Kevin. And then I didn't know you were going to get on the podcast and be this angry. Kevin. But then I was like, I'm going to let him sit in this one. And then it got to where it went. And then I was like, I'm going to tell him now before we you end know, the show. Uh, I, don't, I don't say this lightly. You are my comedy <laughs> hero. <laughs> you are my goddamn comedy hero. I'm so like I'm so excited I would have said that in the first two minutes I would have been like hey Kev let's do this bit for five minutes and then I would have told you you got an hour in <laughs> and I was like oh we're closing out alright let me tell you this real quick <laughs> I hate everyone I literally hate everyone not I'm, I'm, thank you Nat for not saying anything cause like uh, should, was, should it get yelled at for an hour Huh? Should no, you? I thought you were still mad from the thing that we said last week that we don't include you in the gas games, which you shouldn't be mad at me for because it wasn't my idea. I just work here. No, no, you just you just add to it. Um, yeah, you didn't I like say I like it. listening to the dead silence of her going. I guess I'll just turn off my mic. So, <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, that. Um, yeah. So Harrington and all of them were like, well, I will say this. I was gonna be on gas games, but you just walked in. So they oh, were like, you fucked oh, up his opportunity. Yeah, so you did fuck up my opportunity, right? So they were like, right, let's just pretend you were on Gas Games. But why wouldn't they just have you on? Because you walked in and got to do the show. We ran out of time. We ran out of time. Sucks to suck. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, things happen, man. I don't no, 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 no. Honestly, it was worth just seeing. Just now you're going to go to a show. You're going to have a great time because you know it was all a joke. Everything else we said was real. We were going to talk about that no matter what. Yeah, right? that's the funny part. Because, like, it just so happened that... L- Pickle Dill was here. Pickle Dill was coming. <laughs> Pickle Dill was coming. Dill. Pick- Sour, Sour Dill. Dill was coming through. Regardless. Listen, people talk shit about this kid. Like, just because, like, listen, sometimes you do suck on stage. You do wild shit. You, don't, you understand that? Like you do dicks. insane things on stage that if you were just a tad bit better... It'd be greatness. It'd be greatness. Oh, I know. But right now, you're trying it, and you're not as good as what you're trying. Oh, 100%. Does that make sense? That's 100%. a good thing, though. You take the risk. He takes the fucking risk. The other day, you know what this kid did? So Said the N-word? Dude, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> how powerful, you know? <laughs> no. Profound. <laughs> he... Also, it was crowd work. It was, it was awesome. Yeah, you just looked at a guy. <laughs> so, the, we were doing a show. Mm-hmm. And I didn't. I don't see the beginning of his set, but from all accounts, it went really well. Mm-hmm. And then some girl interrupts his set, uh oh, because he goes something about he was saying something about black women, and then she goes, "You're stuttering, so you're nervous." She oh, just, they'll call that out. She sure. just shouted it out because she was. I think in her head, she was trying to like get him to stop if he said any. If he, if he was about to say something insanely racist. She doesn't know Dylan. What's the punchline? What was it? It was... Uh, no, it was like riffing on like the room because like everyone was talking and there was like three tables taught at once. And I was like, you know, it's crazy because also like, I, it's, it's crazy you guys all taught at once but I heard her first. I was like, she's having the most fun. I was like, you know, it's crazy. You know, black women come to shows, they have the most fun. And I was kind of doing that and I couldn't even get to the end part. She was, you seem nervous. Oh, uh, she's playing gotcha with And you. I got annoyed where exactly. So I, I do the joke, I put the stool in front so, of So no, 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 no. You didn't just put the stool in front of you. This dude acted like Jim Carrey pulling the stool in front of him, right? Which is kind of his thing in a way. Like, people, he's trying to figure it out. Like, he is over dramatized, you know? And then he mm-hmm. takes the fuck and he, and he does this thing on a stool and he's so looking, he challenges you to an arm. Yeah, yes. Like, <laughs> and he's like, and he smashes to the table. I said, one, one, bitch. And he's not breaking eye, co- eye contact with her. So he's not including the rest of the room. That's brave. That's a good thing, right? 
But then what comes out of your mouth next better be fucking amazing. And it just it just fell flat. Yeah. It fell flat, right? That's the truth. What'd you yeah. say? I, I just said what I like I said. I was like, you know, I was like, you know, it's crazy. I was like, you're having the most fun here. I was like, and I was gonna say something nice, but now I don't want to say something nice nice anymore. And that's where it's like again. It's like I saw I, I said this to Kevin one time where he goes, Why don't you talk about that on stage? And I started saying this to people recently. If if I'm annoyed about a joke, mm-hmm. if there's a, if it's coming from like annoyance, I don't say the joke. Cause I always get to a point where I want to be like, I want I want to take a fucking head off. I yeah. I, I, you know, I want I want to go for the. But there's a way to. That's ju- why I don't do roast there's anymore. A- I don't like mm-hmm. roast because I can like judge a roast battle and be playfully funny. Like, oh yeah, you guys both suck. So this all doesn't matter. Thanks for wasting my time. Right. Isn't it the easiest thing to judge a roast battle? Yeah, like it's it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's nothing. But doing a roast, like I guess like a friend or something, like there's gonna be a part where I'm like, like even like in like razzing in like, a fucking group mm-hmm. section, like. Again, like you, t- I don't take it personally, but like I want to go for the jugular sometimes. So if I think of a joke where I go, oh, I, I, it's, it's coming with like a little bit of annoyance, or anger. I usually don't say it. So it was one of those things where I did get annoyed. Mm-hmm. So I did this, all this thing, and I wanted to show her and prove to her that I'm not scared of nothing. I don't bow to no man, woman, or anyone. So like, regardless if I'm bombing woman. or anything, I'm I'm an independent black woman. <laughs> yeah, you see the, the <laughs> but the, I don't know what you said. Do you remember what you said? So. I, I just said I was like you know and I was gonna say something nice but I don't want to say something at all. I was like no we could have been friends and I just well, said like that. Said, that's the wrong thing to say. They don't want to be your friend. They want to watch you squirm so they all laugh at you. And it, Nick is dropping truth. Can we do Nick's truth bombs as a yeah. clip also? <laughs> Nick truth bombs. Truth bombs. Truth bombs. But listen, you also try to say that you win a bagger after the show, which I thought was a mistake. Oh, don't tell you. Don't say you want to fuck her. No, I didn't. Oh, well, okay, give us a both. Mincing my words. <laughs> no. Did, isn't that what bagger means? No, I just, I, I, I'm, I'm. We'll get her number. So this is, okay, I'll, I will say this though. Fuck her. It's... I'm trying to climb my way out mm-hmm. of a hole I now dug. Mm-hmm. Whole set was water. I am now, though, I hit the bottom of the well. I'm digging now. I'm hitting dirt. I'm in dirt. I'm just digging. I don't think you were that low. Uh, so I, I, I'm, I'm now trying to dig myself out of it. And as I say words, the host to the right goes, she says something like I say I said like you know the worst. She goes, and I was like, I I said the line where I was like you know I was like you know and this this sucks and I still might you know hang out and I was like and I still want to buy you a drink after the show. And I said something like that fell flat, and the host goes, okay cool like like okay cool like all right yeah like something like that. And I want to be like hey man, I'm currently working to get myself out of a hole, mm-hmm. like as like a comic you like. I don't have enough time to get myself out of this hole because now it's at the very end of my set. Mm-hmm. So I have to like wrap up. I have to not only do I have to wrap and it up. Done. I have two fucking minutes. I mean, I have a How minute. How long is the set? Seven minutes. And also, by the way, mm-hmm. I'm gonna say it. Bonnie's a fucking idiot. Why? She 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 goes to the the Eastville has a light like a red light they turn on. Mm-hmm. Bonnie, I can tell you're a fucking no name unknown fucking comic because you don't even know how to work a fucking light at a fucking club. Turn it on and leave the red light on. I thought you she, meant Bonnie McFarlane for a second. No 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 no. no. <laughs> she, like... own, she owns one. Um, she 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 flicks the red light on and flicks it off. So I see it go on. But you think it's a mistake because you flicked it off. I didn't, I, so now I'm going. So again, so now mm-hmm. like to the point of I'm s- talking where I'm digging. And so now not only am I digging, I see her going. Oh, uh, so now you're over your time. And I'm like, where's my where's my light? Where's my five minute light that I could have got off? Like I was doing crowd work at five minutes. I, I I started eating shit at eight minutes. You get what I'm trying to say? Gotcha. So it's like a weird. So you didn't have the line to actually dig yourself out. <laughs> So another thing, and so now I'm hearing it from the host's host talking shit now, mm. Bonnie, and I want to be like, which I, Bonnie? I, is I don't even uh, uh uh Bonnie Bonnie Q. Oh, not Sabrina Piper. Cool. Got it. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> That's a good comedy joke. We call her Joke Machine in the streets. Oh, okay. Joke Machine. So you don't stop. But it's just one of those things where I want to be like, yo, as a comic, like, yo, I'm currently digging myself out of a fucking hole right now. Like I'm trying to at least. Yeah. So. It was just a, it was a shit situation. Obviously, I was upset, and uh, it was more just annoying. Where whether I kept bombing or not, I would have loved five minutes. I would have loved to see if I could end on a laugh, mm-hmm. get him and go. All right, you know what? I, 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 if I, I would love to have seen if I could have gone. Beginning set was great. Middle got rocky. 
but he he got us back. It was just, and that's also why I was kind of infuriated. You know, you know when you like, you leave feel like you left like met meat on the bone. Yeah, it was like yeah, you realize what you could have. Yeah, said you're, like, you're like yeah, it's so like yeah, those things. All the lines when you got off. Yes, yeah, I don't, I don't, you know when mm-hmm. you were in your fight with your parents, yeah, I got all the lines, and it was just annoying because I was like, yo, it was kind of annoying also seeing comics be like, comics are so quick to be like, oh yeah, the first five minutes when he was killing, write that off. Last two minutes when that was happening, it's the only thing everyone's gonna focus on, it. and rightfully so. But it was just annoying where even the host was like. Kind of like you know talking while I'm currently yeah. in a quiet room. Mm-hmm. Well, she doesn't like myself. Uh, you. Could tell she doesn't like you. You know, and it's gonna happen in comedy. People are not gonna like you, and you just gotta suffer through that. You're gonna have shit like that. You're gonna have comics that don't like you. You're gonna have people that are in the corner talking shit. Mm-hmm. Last night I was in Teaneck, New Jersey, which is not something to brag about. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the most fun part of the show was just sitting in the corner with the other comics talking shit about whoever's on stage. Of course. And you know For when you go yeah. on stage they, that they're going to start you. laughing yeah. at you. Yeah. And that's fine. Yeah. But I was having a great fucking time that's with a that. a great time. And it's not like personal. I was talking about one guy about how shitty his shirt was. There was <laughs> one guy in a wheelchair. See, I just that's talked... silly. Yeah. That's just silliness. But um, I... I, I... This has actually been a, 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 a one of my favorite episodes. Yeah. Because uh, I, I like what you said to, us, uh, said to me earlier. You were like, listen, this has been a funny podcast. We're always going to be funny. It's, it's fun to have like cool, uh, cool topics, but original topics. We didn't, we didn't do one. No, we didn't talk about Chappelle getting tackled. No. You know why? You see why? stomped out, though. What? You see, him get, you see the guy get stomped out? Stomped the fuck out. By the way, I felt like eight dudes on I, 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 I did see the uh, extended video of uh, Chappelle going. Uh, we, we, we're not talking about this, but Chappelle going. Jokes while he's doing like <laughs> after getting stomped out, <laughs> he's doing jokes. He, he, yeah, he would continue the act as he kept you can see jokes. in the back. The guy's just getting mm-hmm. stomped. And then at one point he does, he, he goes there, comes back, and goes, "Sorry, that motherfucker's getting stomped out right now." <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, Jamie he, Fox is fucking him up. Yeah, you know what's crazy? He goes, he goes, uh, "Hey man, get off the, do it off the stage." Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was funny. Um, but, uh, we gotta wrap it up here. We gotta wrap it up. Wait, can I say something though? Of course, Rashad Bashir. Mm-hmm. Had one of the funniest. I wish you. Po- I wish I said this. Rashad's in a month. Closing take us. Closing take us. Rashad Bashir on Instagram. Not that's a cue. Rashad Bashir had one of the coolest fucking. Like he was. Um, he was Dave Chappelle. He's a great. Oh, you're talking about the impression. Yes. Oh, okay. he's a great impressionist. He does Dave Chappelle mm-hmm. and Paul Mooney talking to him from heaven. Oh, that's cool. About the incident. It's so fucking awesome. I, yo, dude, Rashad Bashir, we gotta get Rashad Bashir on. We gotta get Rashad Bashir on. So he's one of the nicest, most humble. Is, is that your closing thoughts? Just to get him on? I, well, I'm hoping that Nat pulls up Rashad the Bashir the video because it's a minute. Oh, we should end it on that. It's a minute. It's like literally a minute. It's an Instagram video. It's what we can't. We can't take a minute. No, I'm just waiting for it to happen. Actually, oh, looking, okay. Looking over at you. First of all, by the time I looked over, we'll be, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you had us look up an article before. Uh, we were supposed to, but that's, <laughs> Richard Pryor is not today. No, but I'm gonna I'll bring come it up on the next time. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm gonna bring it up before you come through. Okay, and then, uh, <laughs> right, yeah, play yeah, this. Play this. Okay, we'll end on this. What happened? <laughs> hey, Paul. Hey, man. I'm fine, man. <laughs> Shit, just do me by surprise, that's all. I have to tell Chris Rock, nigga, you got Will Smith attacking me too? Then get your ass out of here, nigga. You giving me bad juju. <laughs> yes, because I was ready to come down as Negro Damas with Nat Turner and Malcolm X and whoop ass by any means necessary. <laughs> hey, man, that's fine. But we handled it. I mean, it was like Jumanji. We stampeded this nigga. At one point, I was beating this nigga's ass so bad, I just shot at Brooklyn. And Buster Rams was there, and this nigga was just shouting, Whoa! That's all the chat. And Jamie Foxx, this nigga went to the back, switched costumes. He was beating this nigga's ass dressed like Django. <laughs> <laughs> Until they are actually the punchline. Dead <laughs> Just as Django. Got Yo, I fucking book. love nails the shot machine. He nailed it. He's the best. This is Dope Up and Dying, the, the Sunday, Sunday morning, morning smoke, smoke show. show. This is Dylan J. Negri. I'm Kevin Sanchez. Thank you to our guest, Nick Cara. Oh, Nick, la- tell him one more time where to find you. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Nick Cara. The I is a uh, one. Uh, you can find me at Bareface Comedy, any of those shows all around the place. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. If you want to see any more of my content, you can find me on the Citizen app. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be uh, I'll be on there regularly. Uh, <laughs> w- once again, uh, 
I wasn't on. Don't games be games. the hack you hate. Don't be, be the, the hack you, you want to be. be. This is Delta Bedine. Guys, thank you for watching the last episode. Please like and subscribe. Follow. And make sure to go to the new YouTube page, Dope Up Podcast on YouTube. We'll give that a follow. We're pushing all the episodes to the Dope Up YouTube page now. So all the new episodes will be up there. Guys, thank you for watching. Hit the bell. <laughs>